Yes, I'd like to address the Human Rights Watch. I saw the newspaper account that they said hundreds have been hidden and have been brought outside or somewhere to hide poverty. Again, I say, we cannot hide poverty. And just to give you the numbers, only 77 families were reached out by the city of Manila in the days that APEC was about to happen, the week before. The rest of what you saw in Boys Town have been there and have been reached out even before APEC. Just to let you know, we had 100 families that we were giving orientation during the visit of the Pope. We were accused of hiding them. That 100 families, 75 of them already have houses, have jobs, and their children are going to school and are going to the, ro the, ro the health clinics. 25 of the 100 decided one half to go back to the province, the other half went back to their resettlement houses and we are providing livelihood assistance. This is not a one-off effort. This has been going on since 2013. And since 2013, we have provided an option to those who have been living in the streets, not by choice for many, because of their own circumstance, they have now gotten a dignified life. As one of them said to me, he is from Quezon City, Ma'am, hindi mo lang ako nilayo sa kalsada, nilayo mo din ako sa kulungan. As one of them told me, you did not only take me away from the streets, you also took me away from the possibility of being in prison. That's the kind of work that we do. This is not one-off, this is not because there are visitors, it is because it is the right of every Filipino to be assisted, it is their right to have education, health and houses, that's why we're doing this.